Hi friends, welcome to Yoga for Pelvic Pain. Today's practice, I will show you just a few quick exercises to really stretch, lengthen, and open up your pelvic floor muscles. So all you'll need is your mat and yourself, and let's get started. Let's start our practice today in Supta Baddha Konasana Recline Butterfly Pose. So we lie all the way on our back and take the soles of your feet together so your hips and your knees open out. We're gonna place one hand on our heart and the other hand on our belly. Close the eyes and focus on just breathing. And if I can give you one exercise to help with pelvic pain, it would be diaphragmatic breathing. So let's practice where we inhale through our belly, feel the ribs expand, and feel it go up to your chest and exhale letting the breath release completely out so we're engaging our diaphragm muscles keep going here breathe in belly ribs chest exhale chest ribs belly use that visualization here last time inhale belly ribs, chest, exhale, chest, ribs, belly. Just focus through the rest of this practice and through the rest of your day. Breathing in and out through your nose. Nice long inhalations and deep exhalations out. Let's add a little bit of movement here. So we're gonna open our arms up and over our head and inhale, close the knees as you bring the arms beside the hips. Inhale, open the knees, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, close the knees, arms come down. Inhale, open, reach. Exhale, close, bring it down. Last time, open, reach overhead. Exhale, close the knees, arms come along the side of the hips. Preparing for our bridge pose because we're already set up. We're gonna place our feet as wide as our hips and make sure your feet are not too close to your buttocks but not too far away. Arms are flat along the side body. We're gonna take a deep breath in and on the exhalation, you're gonna tuck your pelvis in, curl it in and squeeze your glutes as you lift your hips and your pelvis up towards the sky. Keep your ribs and your chest down low though. Just your hips lifting up, squeeze your glutes. Inhale and exhale, start to melt and roll it down one vertebrae at a time. Feeling your tailbone be the last thing that hits the mat. Deep breath in once you're in a flat back. Exhale, start to lift your pelvis up towards the sky, keeping your ribs down. Really squeeze the butt, squeeze the legs together and then start to melt your spine one vertebrae, upper back, middle back, lower back, sacrum, tailbone. Deep breath in. Exhale, start to lift, squeeze your glutes as you lift your hips up towards the sky. Make sure the head stays in place, don't move it. Deep breath in as you're up, and exhale, start to melt one vertebrae at a time. Bringing your hips all the way down onto your mat. We're gonna take a little spinal twist here. So we're gonna cross our left leg over our right knee. Let your knees fall over towards the right side and extend your left arm towards the left side. Now the most important thing is to make sure that your left shoulder is grounded on the mat. So it's okay if your knees are lifted. Now if it's too much to cross the leg, stack your knees on top of each other. So we're in this spinal twist looking over our left shoulder and we're feeling this beautiful opening all along the left side here. Deep breath in. Exhale out. And then we're gonna take it to the other side. So come back to center. Your knees will fall towards the left side. Remember you can cross your right over the left. Take whichever variation feels good, and your right arm will extend towards the right side. 
looking over that shoulder. Make sure it's grounded on the mat. And you're feeling this nice opening through the right side body. Make sure you're deep breathing here. Inhaling. And exhaling. And let us slowly come back to center. And let us extend our legs in front of us. Reach your arms up towards the sky. You can either come up if it's too hard to roll up, but I want you to see if you can find that ab connection here to really strengthen your core and your back. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, start to roll up. Use your abs and sit on up. Come into cat and cow. So we're on all fours to prepare first. Hands and knees wrists under shoulders and your knees are under your hips. We're gonna take a deep breath in and drop our belly as we look forward. And exhale, rounding your spine up towards the sky, taking your chin to chest. Inhale, drop the belly low into cow, look forward. And exhale, round the spine all the way up, chin to chest. Inhale, deep breath in, belly sinks low, head lifts. And exhale, round the spine up, chin to chest, angry cat. Just a couple more times, moving the spine in each direction. So we're getting a nice flexion and extension here. Really good for aligning our spine, improving mobility as we lubricate the spinal cord. And it's a really great way to find and connect to our breath on that inhalation and exhalation. Last time. Then meet me into a flat back and we're gonna push our hips back towards our heels into a child's pose. Now in this child's pose, I want you to take your knees as wide as your mat. Your two big toes are touching together. Your hips are all the way towards your heels and make sure your arms are extended. Really long here as your forehead rests down onto the mat. And as we keep our knees wide here, this will allow us to bring our heart closer towards the earth so we can really open up more. And this is a great way to lengthen the pelvic floor muscles. Take a deep breath in, relax. Try to relax as much as you can. Exhale, breathe it out. And again, deep breath in. Think about breathing in through the belly, the ribs, and the chest. And exhale, adding the chest, ribs, belly. On our next inhale, walk your hands slowly up into seated. And we're gonna come back into our hands and knees. Take your feet on the outer edges of your mat so your toes are out, your heels are in. You can always use yoga blocks underneath for support. You're gonna come in to pray your hands in front of your heart, known as Anjali Mudra. And then sit your tailbone low towards the mat so it's underneath the crown of your head. Your heart is facing forward. And we're just gonna hold this squat here. Hold and breathe. Your elbows are creating a little assistance to open out the knees. This stretches our inner thighs and the groin area. And this also helps alleviate any digestive issues. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, long breath out. Allow yourself to melt deeper into the hips. Deep breath in, and long exhalation out. To come out of squat, we place our hands in front of us, come down onto your knees, have a seat at the center of your mat, and let us close off our practice as we take a deep breath in, open your arms, stretch them up towards the sky, just to get some movement into our arms here. And again, inhale, open the arms, reach them up, extending through your spine, growing tall. Exhale in front of your heart. And again, inhale, imagine growing tall, 
really reaching the top of your head up towards the sky and your fingertips. Glue the hands together and take them down in front of your heart into prayer. Thank yourself for making it to this practice, Yoga for Pelvic Pain. Subscribe to Yoga and Pilates with Nikki, and I will see you next time. Namaste.